Hypothetically, say your dentist is complaining about your oral hygiene. So taking their advice too seriously, you decide to start brushing your teeth every five hours. So here's a little clock app that I made in Scratch. So this Scratch cat with the marker will show the current time and will leave a red mark every time you brush your teeth. So let's see, you brush your teeth at 5 a.m. and then again at 10 a.m. and at 3 and 8 and 1. Now let's see, if we were to keep doing this every five hours, would we eventually brush our teeth at every hour of the day or would there be some times we miss? Uh, make a prediction now and then we'll see if you're right. Here we go. Uh, you brush at 6 and 11 and 4 and 9 and 2 and 7 and 12. Okay, we did it. You ended up brushing at every hour of the day. But that's only if the brushing interval is every 5 hours. What if the brushing interval were, say, every 7 hours instead of 5? Would you still get every time then? Well, I have a slider for that down here. It's called M. So let's set it to 7. And let's see what happens. So make your prediction now. Brush, 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 brush your teeth, please do it. Brush them night and day. The very best care will keep them there and they'll never, never move away. The very best care will keep them there and they'll never, never move away. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, there you have it. We hit every time. Did you predict it? But what if we set M to 8? So let's set it to 8 here. What's your prediction now? Will we get every time? Let's see. 8 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and back to 8 o'clock. So we didn't end up marking all the times. Just 4, 8, and 12, the multiples of 4. Actually, we don't have to stick with the 12-hour day. I have another slider here called L that lets you change the length of the clock. So let's bump it up slightly to a 13-hour day, like so. Now what do you think? If we stick with 9-hour intervals for brushing our teeth, but on a 13-hour day, will we hit all the times of the day? Make your prediction, and now I'll show it to you at warp speed. Interesting. So now when we go by multiples of 9 on a 13-hour clock, we do hit all the times. There's something different about 13 and 9. Let's do one more example, uh, this time with m equal to 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13. So here again, we hit all the times. Actually, if you play around with it, you'll find that for a clock of length 13, every possible value of m works. Why is this? Do you notice something different about 12 and 13? A property of 12 that can get you trapped in multiples of 3 and 4? If you guessed it has to do with divisibility or prime factors, you're right. In fact, the rule is this. If your clock has length L and you brush your teeth with step size M, then when you go by steps of length M repeatedly, you'll eventually get stuck on all the multiples of g, where g is the greatest common divisor of l and m. So in this case, l is 30 and m is 18, and the greatest common divisor, or gcd, of 30 and 18 is 6. And as you can see, we're hitting all the multiples of 6. So you hit all the times exactly when the gcd of l and m is exactly 1, just like in our original example where L was 12 and M was 5. But why does it go by the greatest common divisor? Well, stay tuned for the answer. Or I've left a link to the Scratch app in the video description, and you can play around with it and then leave your explanation for why it's the GCD in the comments.